Vincenzo Man Pro has a problem in his backyard that won't go away. A creepy tree creature that he has been unable to identify before or since. It faces away at first. It's broad back turned to him. At the one minute mark, it stretches its arms and legs and looks vaguely humanoid. Watch for yourself. What you must stop moving, no. Oh! As time passes by, it seems to crouch into a hostile stance. Here it kind of looks like it's on all fours with its head held very low, quite similar to videos I've seen about the rake creature. I think that it could be a monkey if he lives anywhere near the equator. Its fur color is pretty strange for one though. The sun is setting but the camera has no problem picking up its bluish white hue in the low light. Then it fades away from sight, possibly hiding out of fear, but also possibly following this man. It remains silent the whole time and the way it slinks away makes him wary enough to retreat inside. <laughs> No, 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 no. Like, you got so. I don't know how much danger he was in just now, but I respect his decision not to stick around and find out. This ghost is hungry. Published by Pilot Error Podcast in December of 2020. This woman was finally able to capture on camera what had apparently been happening for a while. After hearing a noise in the kitchen, she grabs her camera and waits. That's when she sees this. The cupboard is opening just a little bit at first, then it opens a little wider, and then, instead of running away from the spirit, this woman runs toward it. And once in the kitchen, things get worse. Is this poltergeist just inviting everyone to dinner? And will you attend? Should be an interesting enough meal. Don't accept help from just anyone. They might not be what you think. YouTuber Scaryfield shares this creepy video which is trending in the Hindi speaking YouTube community. The video is actually from YouTube channel True Horror Stories POV and this horror story occurred on a dark road at night. In the beginning, the woman starts having car trouble in a cursed place. <sighs> <sighs> After pulling to the side of the road, a random stranger stops to help her. The guy checks out a few things, but each time the woman attempts to start her car, it's still having trouble. The man then tells her that it's not a mechanical problem. But rather that something attached itself to her on the cursed route she took, and maybe he was right. Well, this is just a reenactment. These incidents are said to be based on true events. This happened to me in real life. I can't imagine I'd live to tell the tale. A YouTuber named Dark Corners is exploring the deep web when he comes across a video that he instantly regrets watching due to a possible curse. A nauseating noise forces him to take off his headphones, and even though it's in a different language, he still knows that he has witnessed something he was never meant to see.
If you are able to read Japanese, please translate the text into English so we can all better understand. I just wanted to add that this long beep is exactly the same noise that hospital equipment makes when you flatline, which leads me to think that this text could be talking about ending your very life. Let me know if you think my suspicions are correct, or if I was way off with this assumption. Two friends think they may have recorded the presence of a spirit when they entered a graveyard late at night. Here's their evidence. Look at the back row of tombstones on the right, and focus on the one that's closest to the road. I don't really see what's in front of it. We'll turn my show off. An intense source of light plays over the gravestone. It could be a reflection of their headlights bouncing off some glass, but something seems a little off about the angle. And if this gravestone was not made of glass, then there is absolutely no explanation for this video. Let me know if you think this is real, or if they got fooled by their own car. You only see what's in front of A TikToker named Sydney Carpenter is convinced that her Snapchat filter is detecting not one but two nearby faces. I don't think anything on this table or wall looks like a face, so I don't think it's a glitch. She tells it to stick its tongue out if it can hear her, and it does after a moment's hesitation. I don't think it's a coincidence, but watch this part for yourself and tell me. Stick your tongues out if you can see me. Do a bit. Yo, there's two of them. <laughs> Later on, it appears in a totally different place than last time. Like before, the Dalmatian appears to give the answer that yes, it is in fact up to no good. Are you good? Are you bad? She starts speaking to the remaining dog, and upon being asked if it was good, it disappears instantly. Are you good? Disappeared. Which I guess stands for no. There's just way too many strange interactions like this one that makes sense for me to ignore. It's said that on this battlefield, the ghosts of soldiers still roam. Published by Dark3 in July of 2019, a man is exploring a region where hostilities took many lives. The tree-heavy area features a couple of towers and a brick wall, dividing them. Despite the rather average looking landscape, the cameraman says strange things are often observed here. After zooming in on the tower, the camera scans the tower from the top to the ground, which is covered by brush and trees. It is behind one of these trees that he captures a glimpse of a strange creature. It's hard to tell what this is. It looks hauntingly like an unearthly figure crouched down almost out of view. Its coloring does not blend with its surroundings, making me think there's a good chance this could be CGI, and that appears this is the case. So I guess that explains what this thing is doing here, because it certainly doesn't look of this world. Have you heard of the Fresno Nightcrawler? The cryptoid in question was first caught on video surveillance in Fresno, California, it appears extraterrestrial, looking akin to a long pair of white pants with a tiny head. The figure in this video, published in April of 2020, certainly fits that description. The home surveillance footage from Billings, Montana purportedly captures this bizarre creature. Claudia writes, The figure appears in the top right corner at the 22nd mark along with sounds that seem to match a pig or some kind of mammal. Right before the timestamp in question, a car appears to drive near the property off camera, casting light into the yard. That's when you see the figure at the top right corner, which looks like it has two legs. Seeming to be scared into stillness, it soon scurries out of sight, if not the Fresno Nightcrawler. What do you think this is? It looks like no mountain lion I've ever seen. The Camino de la Mirte, or Road of Fate, lies in Bolivia along a 50-mile, rocky, narrow downhill road. The pass is so dangerous that the Inter-American Development Bank deemed it the most dangerous in the world in 1995. Somewhere between 200 to 300 people perish each year on this road. In this video, a bus driver attempts to traverse it to his own detriment. 
the road, which had recently suffered heavy rain, was prone to landslides, making the crossing even riskier business than usual. After ordering his passengers off the bus for safety's sake, they watch in terror as the driver attempts to creep across a very shaky and crumbling stretch of sand and rock, one that should not be crossed. The passengers attempt to help guide him, with one man in the video moving forward to motion that the driver move further away from the edge. It appears as if the bus will be successful in completing this crossing, but suddenly, the ground crumbles beneath it, and the bus tips, falling over the cliff, through the trees, and down the mountain. While it's fortunate that the 50 passengers survived their devastating journey, Sadly, their driver did not. You're never alone on an amusement park ride. This phantom will make sure of it. Published to YouTube by Eli Zix in September 2015, the following footage will have you looking twice. The clip shows three women and a man riding the pirate ship at an amusement park. Swinging back and forth at the beginning of the clip, there are clearly three women there, but as the video ends, the third woman on the end has completely vanished. Where did she go? Did she fall off the ride? Disappear somehow? Or was she ever really there at all? Some in the comments claim that this girl passed away on this ride two years prior to when this video was filmed. This is all hearsay, but who knows? The truth has to be out there somewhere. An old hospital that was recently turned into an office building is experiencing some pretty strange activity lately. And as you will soon see for yourself on this unsettling piece of security footage. Right there it starts. And that door just completely opens by itself. Just watch that one more time. So the door stays completely closed and then just out of nowhere starts opening. And like the title says, this building is completely empty when this happens. So unless there's potentially a window open, like some sort of draft, I, I just can't think of any other reason why this would be happening. To provide some context on this video, the owner of the office building has said that he has seen somebody standing in the corner of this room, but he didn't want to say it was anything paranormal because he was a skeptic. However, just to make sure nothing serious was going on, he called the local authorities and about a week later, after an alarm went off in the building, they came down to the office to come take a look, but they were unable to find anybody or anything. After checking the security camera footage, this is what they saw. So is this a haunted office building or just something easily explainable like a bad door that opens on its own or something? Let me know what you think. Home alone at night? This creeper might just be peering in the window at you. Originally posted to YouTube by group member Ariane Childress of VBE INC's channel. This image is sure to haunt you. A woman in her home films her dark window pane as it looks like a man is staring at her. Although the features are vague, the image reflected definitely looks like a face. The woman takes a few pics as well. The lurker disappears for a moment when her camera moves, but then he's back again leering. Reddit is mixed about this image, with some saying it's seriously creepy and others theorizing it can easily be explained. Redditor Crystal Siren wonders how the woman remains so calm writing, If I saw that I'd have to close the curtains immediately and been unable to sleep for days. However, new Vin suggests it's pareidolia. Pareidolia is when someone incorrectly sees objects they recognize in random shapes or patterns. For instance, seeing a face in the clouds. As many note, this looks like it's probably a reflection. Being that whenever she moves, the face gets distorted or disappears. Whether it's pareidolia, a reflection, or something more nefarious, we'll never know. Real life lurker or not, you can't really blame this woman for looking over her shoulder. Have you ever met a ghost on a cruise ship? Well, here's your chance. Published on July 25th, 2010 by YouTuber Jim Van Eekout, this video allegedly captures the whales of the Queen Mary Pool Ghost. The retired 
ocean liner was active from the 27th of May 1936 to the 31st of October 1967 on the North Atlantic. According to some, the ship is haunted and regular ghost tours visit the Queen in the wee hours of the morning to witness the supernatural. Not only that, but the historic treasure now operates as a museum, hotel, restaurant and all-in-one tourist destination. Well, it may seem like the ghost stuff was just tacked on for the charm of it. Some claim that a murder actually did occur on the ship in one of the state rooms, and the victim's ghost is said to haunt that room till this day. One of these tales seems to be that of a baby named Jackie, who lurks near Queen Mary's pool. According to the uploader, there were no children in the tour group, which set out at 1am, but listen closely. You hear that, it's a baby crying. The black and white video is creepy enough with the empty deserted pool below and the crowd standing around with blank faces, but then you hear that eerie wailing of an infant followed by the humming of twinkle twinkle little star. It's enough to send chills up your spine. Although the humming is credited to one of the investigators, the baby's cries are credited to the ghost of Jackie, which leaves us wondering what happened to baby Jackie and why do her cries remain here? Orkun Is It Mac is a popular YouTuber from Turkey who goes exploring on all kinds of adventures. He's one of the few people willing to take a trip to the abandoned city of Chernobyl, a place where few dare to go after a nuclear power plant meltdown in the 80s left the area covered in radiation. He brings with him a Geiger meter, used to measure levels of radiation, and a couple of scary moments are caught on camera. In this spot, the meter reaches about 50 units. That doesn't sound that bad, but then I realized an x-ray only takes seconds, whereas he's probably been standing here for hours. Big difference. And when he starts to go down here... Oh. The Geiger meter warns him not to. This tunnel is the heart of radiation, he says, and wisely turns around. The glare is covering the screen, so I don't know how many units the meter reached, but if it was in the hundreds, then permanent damage might have already been done in that instant. Later, as he's exploring a research facility lined with jars of old specimens, he finds a room with nothing but cribs, a room that no doubt has the scariest and most mysterious backstory of all. What was this facility working on, and why would they need to keep so many kids down here? This video shows a concerned sister checking in on her sleeping sibling. I'm not sure why she would be holding a camera to do so, but I guess she wanted to record the moment. A girl she has never seen before is hovering over her sister's bed without saying a word, and when she turns to leave to get help, the ghostly child teleports in the doorway to block her. Are you alright? Oh my god! The girl standing in the door does look like the same girl who is just standing by the bed. They are wearing the same outfit and have the exact same hair length and color, so I guess it's possible that this was a spirit. Then again, if this was staged, then maybe there was a second girl who was standing in the doorway the whole time to make it look like they teleported. A YouTuber named Adrian Bustamante documents yet another night of paranormal activity in his apartment to prove once and for all it's haunted. There are a few different paranormal videos on his channel, but March 9th of 2017 is when the best paranormal evidence yet is caught on camera. He doesn't have ghost hunting equipment, but he is still able to pin down the supernatural activity to one corner of the room. It isn't long before he gets all of the paranormal proof he needs. Thank you.
It looks like the object's moving by itself, but at 1 minute and 45 seconds, I'm almost positive there's a string tied around the bottom of the glass vase. My overall analysis is that Adrian's probably moving the object himself, but your opinion can help me decide if this paranormal evidence is fake or real. Paris might be considered to be the fashion capital of the world, but it also has a much darker claim to fame. A series of underground tunnels extending for miles where over 6 million people have been buried. As if that isn't enough, one day a videotape was recovered from the depths of the catacombs that still has never been explained. The VHS footage was taken by a single brave person as they explored the twisting paths of the catacombs, miles and miles below the city. The lone traveler journeys as far down as he can stand, which was further than most would consider to have been safe. He often stops to curiously handle and examine ancient bones along the way. He's poking around one forgotten pathway that's about six miles under the city when he suddenly stops and grows very tense. His breathing becomes heavy as he begins to frantically search for a way out. The beginning of the video shows him acting calm and collected, but now he is sprinting through the catacombs in a panic, only slowing down to briefly decide on which path to take next. The more you watch, the more it feels like he is being chased by something off camera. Finally, he pauses for just one second, and then this happens. <laughs> No one knows what could have caused him to drop his camera and run like that, but it couldn't have been anything good. His identity has never been revealed, and his body has never been found. With this in mind, it is quite possible that on one night he became the newest addition to the catacombs. With the video title, Doberman vs. Mailman, I think we're all expecting there's a dog at this street address who is really tired of seeing this mailman, and today it's going to deliver him a final message of its own to stay away. Way. The mailman slowly approaches. Clearly, he's dealt with this Doberman before, but as the Doberman isn't doing the same slow approach, he quickly turns around and is soon being chased, running for his life. The dog catches up quickly and appears to snatch something from him and heads back to the house. The mailman's demeanor switches from terrified to looking like he's having a fun time. So maybe he was in on this from the start, or maybe he's happy the Doberman didn't try to snatch an arm or leg instead. Have you ever seen a door slam all on its own? Okay, but have you seen it happen in a creepy underground morgue? Steady Pop published this horrifying video in May of 2017 which begins scary and then escalates even further. As the camera wads into the darkness with a flickering lantern lighting a hallway, strange slamming noises are heard. You might be screaming, don't go down there at your computer screen right now, but the cameraman isn't listening. He walks towards the hallway, and as he gets closer, you can see what's making that slamming noise. It's a red door down at the end of the hallway. It's opening and closing shut on repeat with no end in sight. As the cameraman gets closer and closer, your heart starts beating faster and faster. And then suddenly, the door stops slamming. The lights flicker on and then off completely. When they turn back on again, the cameraman walks over to the door and opens it. Nothing is inside. The cameraman turns down towards the end of the hallway and into the adjacent room, but nothing. Was this the paranormal in action? Or as some in the comments believe, was a fishing line involved? Real or fake, what do you think? It's certainly some interesting footage. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.